The Kerbalon Project was a dream given form. Its mission, to slip the surly bonds of Kerbal, to explore outer space, to reach for the horizon, to seek to strive, to never fall, to not go quietly into that good night. This is the Kerbalon Project. Okay. I think what we want now is the... Um, let's go back to this one. Our actual Moon Lander. And I think what I want to do is, I think I will need some more thrust on this. And we'll move these... If I move these up, I'm going to lose the those... some of the fuel things, but... Go. Just move them up slightly, I think. Let's put these structural struts back in, which we lost earlier without realizing. And we're missing a fuel line now, aren't we? Because I moved them slightly. In fact, we're missing all our fuel lines. Although the base of them is still there. Okay, that's one fuel tank. That's another fuel tank, so I just want... Oh no, you're... Yeah. You're a thingy strut. Go away. Go away. Right, fuel lines. Or do I need some structural? I think I need some 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 structural things. I've got that one up there. I think with four-way symmetry on, we should we should run a strut between these two. Like that to give it a little bit of stability at the bottom. Now let's make sure our fuel tanks are in properly. Can I stretch these further? Yes, but you snap to there anyway. <gasps> oh, I don't like it when I do that. Controls. Z. <laughs> Luckily there is a control Z. Control Z is always your friend. Right. Could run this fuel line out here, can't I? Then we want one from this large tank. Oops. Just trying to get a decent view on this. I think I can just run like so. There we go. That's a lot neater. The stuff sort of tucked out of the way. What size engines do we have on these things? Um, that's one of them. And those are the smaller ones. I think this will do. I think this will actually land on the moon. So I'm going to call this... I think we need that uh, that extra thrust on, um, on the outside. So let's just make sure uh, the staging is correct. Uh, that's going to separate those, but leave that. The fuel tanks are all going to run into that one. So, okay. So I think this is what's going to land on the moon. 
So now I just have to get this thing into orbit. And this thing weighs quite a bit. So now I want stages underneath this. I don't think... Um, I mean, this thing might get uh, might get me to the moon as well, but you know, I don't I don't necessarily want to have to rely on that. So I need a stage for Kerbal to lunar burn, and I think the way I do that is I put a decoupler on the end of each of those. Like so. Um, nice large fuel tank. And a medium rocket. That might be more than I need. And I'll, I'll put structural stuff in later. And then I want my launch stage. Which I'm hoping... Ah, see now you went, you went wrong there. I want that decoupler down there because this is going to be my launch stage. So lots of fuel tanks, fuel, fuel, fuel. Um. As part of my launch stage, we're going to have another decouplers here. Good, they ended up in the right place, I think. So, <laughs> um, let's put some half fuel tanks on. That's just to try and line everything up a bit. We want to run fuel, because I don't want these outer ones running out of fuel. I'm going to run fuel from this main large tanks into those ones, like so. I hope you guys can follow what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> I'll sort of talk us through it once I'm done. Also to double check that I've done it right. <laughs> now, that is, I think, enough fuel. So, let's just put five heavy lifting rockets on this thing. One in the centre. And four on the outside. <laughs> nice. Let's see where these are in the staging. A few down there. Some of these fuel tanks have gotten confused. Oh no, 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 no. Right, which fuel tank is which? I'm trying to find the fuel tanks that are at the bottom. Okay, it's those three there. So. bottom stage. So let's get you in there. Okay, um, <laughs> will this thing make it to... this thing might do. I've got two stages. Okay, this is the, um, Kerbal Project. Um, orbiter, Moonal Lander, Kerbal Return. <laughs> One. Okay, so let's go through the staging, and let's look at. Oh no, I need some. I need some. I need some structural stuff on this. I think so. Let us start by. That so that that so that doesn't wobble so much. We've got a bit of 
Better do it on this stage as well, of course. And for extra structural stability, because I don't think they add too much weight, I'm going to go f like that. Oh, <laughs> let's actually try it a little more even, shall we? So we'll go from there to there, and on these ones. I'm curious. You know, once they introduce, you know, once the Kerbals invent um, invent money and budgets and accountants, I'm curious how much harder this is going to be because you won't just be able to design anything you want. Now that's a rocket. <laughs> it's a lot more complex once you're actually planning on landing on Ker on the moon and returning. So let's go through this thing one stage at a time and see what we've got. So, first first stage we have seven uh, fuel tanks. So you can see them highlighting slightly. So that's one, two, three main ones there. We have one, two, three, four smaller ones there. We have one rocket in the center, four rockets on the outside and then those are my structurals. So that's my first stage, which will decouple in two places. Actually, that's a bit weird. Yeah, one of those decouplers is in the wrong place, or isn't needed. I messed this up somehow. One, two, three, four, five. When do you decouple? I don't think this one should decouple then. I think it wants to decouple then. So basically this one here should decouple when those ones decouple. I think. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it should be down there. So we get into orbit and then we lose this main fuel tank here. I've noticed that my fuel lines have been cut. Because I needed... Oops. It's supposed to be fuel going from there to there. There we go. Otherwise, those rockets there are going to run out of fuel. So I think that I think that will work now. So my first stage is those five rockets, those fuel tanks, and then we separate. We then have this stage, which is the four fuel tanks around there, those four rockets, and then those will separate. Here, where are these ones? Where are these ones? Yep, yep. And then those will separate. And by then we should be well on our way to the moon, I think. That's if that's if this thing will even take off the launch pad. We then have a lunar lander level, which is four rockets there, plus that one. And then, to, and then when we take off from the moon, that one separates, and hopefully we can return to Kerbal. Uh, this is suddenly very, very scary, because there's an awful lot that can go wrong now. 
It could be too heavy to take off. I could run out of fuel. I could have the staging wrong. It might just explode. But, we're going to go for it. <laughs> we are going to go for it. So, the Kerbalon Project. Orbital, Muna, Lander, Kerbal, Return. Mark 1. Heading for the launch pad. And notice that, compared to the size of the launch pad, we're still quite a small rocket here. <laughs> okay. SAS on. Throttling up. Whew. Okay, Jefford, Malbert, Boblong. We do have another Boblong. They still aren't that imaginative when it comes to the names. Let us see whether or not we can do this. And we're not getting off the ground. Solid rocket boosters are needed. Um, the rockets are all firing. Okay, this thing needs solid rocket boosters. I thought it might. I thought it might. Solid rocket boosters are a relatively simple iteration. End flight, vehicle assembly building. Okay. Let us fit some solid rocket boosters to this thing. Solid fuel boosters. Right, I need a way of attaching them. Solid rocket boosters. And I think we're going to add more as well. Um, have they ended up at the bottom? Yes, they have. We're going to add some here as well. Right, so assuming these things have the structural integrity. <laughs> that should help us get off the ground. Um, now, I actually want them to fire with the rockets, with my main rockets. So I drag my main rockets down to my first stage. But not the decouplers, <laughs> obviously. Right, so this is... Version A. <laughs> oh, this is scary looking. This is so scary looking. Well, we've managed the first thing is we're standing on the pad without anything having broken. SAS on. Throttle to full. And launch. There we go. We're actually heading in the right direction now. So we're definitely going to go straight up until about 20,000. 20, okay, the solid rocket boosters are overheating, but they're going to burn out soon. And then I will jettison them, and we'll carry on on the other rockets. We're tipping over, we're tipping over. Abort. Abort, 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 abort. Abort all the way. Abort. I just save these guys' lives. Oh no, I've done the thing again where I've... Oh no, I forgot to cut the engines. Jefford, Malbert, Bob Long. I'm sorry. I've done the thing again where I'm... Oh no, oh, oh. Oh, you're so lucky. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> Look on the map and you'll see the debris all over the place. <laughs> Wow, look at all that. It's all going to hit the ground. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <sighs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> Everything exploded. <laughs> oh. 
Oh dear. Well, at least Jefford and that are safe. Jefford, Malbert and Boblong. Let's get this down. Um, so what went wrong? I did not have any attitude control. Uh, those lower stages need wings. Um, hopefully that will do it. So this is end flight. End flight. Let's have a look. Okay, separation of stage 10 confirmed. Solid booster was damaged by engine exhaust from liquid engine. Separation of stage 8 confirmed. Stack decoupler was damaged. Damaged but not destroyed. And then basically everything started going going wrong. Right, wings. I forgot to add wings. Okay. So this stage here is here for a while, isn't it? Um, all right, I'm going to add some small wings. <laughs> Problem is, is they do all add mass. 0 0.8, 0 0.5. They don't add much mass. Right. Let us... Add some small wings here. We'll have some larger wings here. This should give SAS a little extra to work with to help us keep us going in the right direction. So let's try this one now. Wow. I might add a, um, add a second stage of solid rocket boosters. Okay, these guys, if I was them, I would be very, very nervous considering what happened last time. Alright, so you can see those control surfaces are wiggling around. Let's see whether or not we can stay in a straight line this time. Zoom in a bit. Yep, okay. No, no, we're still tilting slightly. We're still tilting. Let's turn off SAS and see whether manual control can do it. Nope, nope. Come on, come on. Can we get control? Can we get control if I can just go straight back up again? The nose is pointing in the right direction, but... We're still travelling sideways. Okay, abort launch, abort launch. Separate the stages. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look out below. <laughs> there's a lot of... There's an entire spaceship heading down to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, none of them are particularly happy, but they should survive. <laughs> Bang. Boom. Well, at least I remember to cut the engines this time. There we go. Jefford and Malbert are happy because they realise they've survived. Bob Long... It's still a bit miffed. Maybe he actually wanted to go to the moon. Oh, no! Oh, that's just unfair! What happened there, right at the end? We just crashed into the surface. We were just going too fast. I'm not sure there's any uh, there's anything I can do about that. I mean, it was just the module; it had the parachute. <laughs> right. Um, so we seem to still lack attitude control on this. So, how can I? I could put more wings on. Let's put some more wings on.
Let's just keep slapping these wings on. I can put them up. Uh, that's a that, that's a stage orbit. What if I did this? What if I put a series of radial decouplers? Like that, but move them down to one of the other stages. If I moved you down to this stage here, and then I put the wing Okay, I've now got a wing control surface near the top of my ship. Which I will jettison at a later stage. Are they straight? Yes. <laughs> Save. Launch. How long have I been recording for? I've been going about an hour now. Okay, say hello to Ronfrey, Matley, and Sidzi. Let's turn SAS on. There we go. So I've got a lot more control surfaces now. It, the problem may just be that it's top heavy. Once I lose those solid, uh, solid rocket boosters, most of the mass is then at the top because I've got that complicated uh, Muna lander and Kerbal return modules. So maybe I just need to lengthen it so there's more weight at the bottom. But let's give this a go. Whoa, you can see the solid, solid rocket boosters bend inwards. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, SAS is currently keeping us straight. See how we do after those solid rocket boosters jettison, because that's where it went wrong last time. I'm also losing all my wings from down there, aren't I? The whole thing's shimmying. There we go, we drop those. And we're still going rel relatively strong. <laughs> so how much height will we get on the fuel we've got? We're actually running out of that fuel pretty quick. Hmm. It's possible I've not worked out the staging and the fuel correctly. We're at five kilometers. So I want to reach at least 30 before I start, uh, start my bank. I think we're jettison jettisoning in stage in a moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. We had a bit of an impact there. We lost two of our rockets. I kind of thought that that might, might, might happen. I might need to... And we're heading downwards. And we're heading downwards. There we go. <laughs> I need to um, change where one of my stages, <laughs> to, uh, where one of my stages changes. Oh dear, oh dear. these guys be able to... Is it because I'm landing on warp? I mean, I assumed the physics of the game wouldn't take account of that, but maybe it does. Um, I'll go back to... I think everything is actually landed actually on the launch pad. There we go. I'm going back to times one speed. <laughs> so we'll try and take this, take this landing a little more gently. Well, they do say one of the challenges of this game is to take off and then land on the launch pad. Um, <laughs> I think we've managed that. Down they come. There we go. Maybe it is a having the game um, at time time warp thing. Hmm. So the problem there 
was that my staging here, they they don't quite line up. I've got a staging there. And there? What? No. Why are you up there? I'm just trying to have a look at this. Okay. Solid rocket boosters. You drain from the main fuel tank. This is going to be really annoying to change, isn't it? Hmm. Because when I pull this away from here... Then all these connectors and everything. Am I, am I going to lose them all? Let's find out. Uh, yeah. No. See, it's it's taken all the connectors out and so on. Okay. Um, I'm going to give this a think and a redesign, probably off camera. <laughs> so. I think, I don't know, I think I've just made it a bit too complex. And the problem was is that this stage here separated in line with that stage down there. And so as it pulled away, these things wobbled in and hit that. And then I just didn't have, have the power anymore. So I need to rethink this a bit. So I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go back to my Kerbal Return module. Purple return 1A. Oh no, not Kerbal return. Moon lander, of course. The Moon lander 1B. Alright, I'm going to start again from this and redesign the rest of the rocket. So, um,. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time from the Kerbalon Project. Over and out.